Hello, happiness seekers. My name is Claudia and you are listening to the Happiness Challenge. This episode is part of the Happiness Reset campaign, where I bring you 25 bite-sized episodes to inspire you to refocus on your happiness and fulfillment. In each short episode, I bring you one practical hack to create more happiness at work, in relationships, and most importantly, in your own skin. Follow me on LinkedIn and join my newsletter to share what hacks you are finding useful and to get free tickets to a webinar on the science of happiness that I'll be hosting in February. And in this hack, we are exploring the power of nourishing yourself. Uh, I am here with Tamsin Hartley, a coach and a trainer and author of an amazing book called The Listening Space, New Path to the Personal Discovery, and a book of poems called Capture Moments. Welcome, Tamsin. Hello. Thank you for having me along again. It's lovely to be here. Tamsin, today you're presenting with us a slightly different hack than to the previous episode. What is your happiness hack then? Um, The happiness hack uh, I'm going to be presenting is the importance of nourishing yourself. Um, Fantastic. So I was introduced to a, a phrase that I really like recently, and it's putting yourself on the list of people that you take care of. So this activity that I'm going to share with you today is all about nourishing yourself and coming to know what nourishes you. Very important from the perspective of that well-being. But again, some of us may be saying, well, Tamsin, I have limited time and I also should be adding myself to the list of all of the other people I'm taking care of. That might be a bit too much of a stretch. So why actually self-care is important to our happiness? Self-care is is actually vital to our happiness. If we let our tanks run low, then it's really really difficult to give to others. It's really difficult to give to your work. And it's very easy if you do let your tank run low to end up focusing on the negative. I mean, many of us have a natural inclination to, to remember the negative, to really relive the negative. And nourish is about just taking in the good, taking in the positive experiences and really kind of reliving that so that you can re-experience those good feelings. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. So we often cannot really give and support other people if we're not having that energy, that attention, and we're not really looking after ourselves. We kind of know it in principle, isn't it? But (laughs) much harder in practice. So what is specifically uh, the hack or meditation you are presenting today for us to help us to kind of move towards that state that we are looking after ourselves? Yeah, so I'm going to share with you an activity that I call experience mapping. And what this involves is I'm going to invite the listeners to think of an experience, maybe a recent experience, that you found nourishing. Now, it might have been something that others did for you. It might have been something that you did for yourself. It might have involved others. It might have just been yourself. It doesn't matter. But thinking of a recent experience where where you felt nourished. And if you need to press pause to think of that, then then you can do so now. And I'm going to invite you to bring your awareness to the different aspects of your experience. So you're not just thinking through this experience, but you're actually feeling it all over again. And so I'm going to give you various questions that invite you to notice the different aspects of your experience. And I'm gonna pause after each question so that you can really take time to notice, okay? And if you need more time, you can press pause. So as you think of this situation, this experience that that, that nourished you, that you felt nourished by, As you think of this experience now, what are you seeing? What are you seeing? And as you think of this experience, what are you hearing? What are you hearing?
And are there any smells available to you? Are there any tastes available to you? And as you think of this experience, what are you feeling in your body? What are you feeling in your body? And bringing your awareness to your thoughts. What story are you telling yourself about this situation that nourished you? And what are you thinking about yourself? in bringing your awareness to your emotions. What emotions are you noticing? And as we move to round off this activity, what do you know now about all of that? And perhaps what difference does knowing that make? And that brings us to an end of kind of really connecting and reliving that moment that nourished you. Mm. So fascinating, isn't it? Like I feel already slightly even more happy and bass because I was thinking about something so positive. Tamsin, how this exercise is important to our happiness? How can we take it forward in day-to-day -day life? I think there's two ways. You could do this as an activity. You could find yourself five minutes, maybe before the end of the day, and just think back on an experience that you've had in the day. And it's very easy to say, well, I feel grateful for this, that, and the other, but actually this is inviting you to really go into your body and to really relive the whole of your experience of that situation, which is great because you start being flooded with all the happy hormones as opposed to the stress hormones. And the other thing is, I think when you start to notice all those different aspects of your experience, you might find yourself catching yourself in the moment. So it's not an activity you have to go and do. It's just, ah, yeah, I'm feeling this. I feel really, I like this. I feel good. I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying this. I'm feeling nourished by this right here and now. And this is what I'm feeling in my body. And this is the emotion I'm feeling. Mm, fantastic. Okay, so this dual kind of level of self-reflection, going back, but also paying attention to our experiences more because they're fleeting, they're passing so quickly and we want to be really appreciating those. Great. Um, thank you so much, Tamsin. Thank you. Thank you for having me along. <laughs> Thank you for listening, uh, my dear happiness seekers, to this happiness reset campaign. I really hope that this happiness hack is useful and impactful for you. As always, there is so much more to learn. You can listen to episode 53, how to self-reflect well with the listening space. And also, if you like hmm, listening space, tell me more. Well, uh, you can go to and visit Tamsin's website at thelisteningspace.co.uk for any additional resources. I would love you to share this episode with other people and subscribe to my podcast and newsletter so that you are not missing out uh, on any future hugs. Thank you again for listening. And as always, I dare you to be happy. Bye.